We have here three circles tangent to each other and to a line. The radii are A, B, and C units. We also have the condition that A is greater than B and B is greater than C. We will show that 1 over the square root of C is equal to 1 over the square root of A plus 1 over the square root of B. Before I proceed to the solution, I would like to emphasize that the radii are actually perpendicular to the horizontal line at the points of tangency. So this right here is 90 degrees. This one is also 90. This one is also 90. Okay. What will be my approach? I will look for congruent parts in the figure because this will allow us to um, create an equation that we will manipulate in order to arrive at the desired equation above. Now, I will start by drawing a segment passing through the center of the smallest circle and perpendicular to the other two radii. So we have this one. Okay, so this is 90. This is also 90. Now, I'll label the points of intersection. Let's say um, this is W and this one is X. Okay. I'll also connect the centers of the blue and the violet circles so that uh, we will have a right triangle. Okay. I'll also do the same to the centers of the green and the violet circles. Okay. So let me repeat this one just to straighten the, the, the hypotenuse. Okay. Now, let's label some lengths of these triangles. We know that this is A, the radius, right? This is C. This is also C. And this one is B. Now, is it possible for us to find or to label the uh, vertical sides of the right triangles? Now, take note that this length right here is equal to the radius of the smallest circle. So, this is C. The same is true with this. This is C. So, if, if this length is C and the radius of the blue circle is B, this side of the right triangle must be B minus C. Similarly, this one here is A minus C. Okay? Now, what I'll do next is uh, create another segment parallel to WX and perpendicular to the other two radii. Okay? So, we have this one. Okay? So, this is 90. This is also 90. So, we have now a rectangle, right? I'll also create another segment connecting the centers of the blue and the green circles to create another right triangle. Let's label the sides. This one is A. This one is B. So the hypotenuse of the uh, third right triangle is A plus B. Now, what is this side right here? Take note that the radius of the green circle, again, is A. And this length right here, this side of the rectangle, is the same as or equal to the radius of the blue circle. So, this one is A minus B. Now, before I proceed to the next step, I would like to label uh, this point right here, the center of the blue circle with uh, Z. Okay, and this point right here by Y. Okay, now, what do you notice? Or what um, congruent parts can we have? Take note, we have a rectangle, right? 
we have the rectangle Z, W, X, Y. And we know that W, X, side W, X is congruent to side Z, Y. So, W, X is equal to Z, Y. Now, if we can determine an expression for each of these sides, then we can create an equation which we can, we can manipulate. Now, how can we do that? Let us apply the Pythagorean theorem to the three triangles. Okay? So, how do we start? Let's start with the smallest right triangle. Okay, now, take note that Wx is actually equal to the sum of this length and this length. Okay? So, how can we find the first length? We actually have the square root of b plus c squared minus uh, b minus c squared. Okay? Plus the second length or segment, the square root of a plus c squared minus a minus c squared. Let us simplify this. So this is b squared plus 2bc plus c squared minus b squared minus 2bc plus c squared plus the square root of a squared plus 2ac plus c squared minus um, a squared minus 2ac plus c squared. Okay. If we combine like terms after distributing the negative 1 in the second group, we have the square root of um, 4bc plus the square root of 4ac. Taking the square root of 4, we have 2 square root of bc plus 2 square root of ac. Okay, so we'll just make sure that there is no error in these last two lines. Okay, so far so good. Okay, so this is now our expression for wx. Let's find an expression for uh, zy. For zy, we have the square root of a plus b squared minus a minus b squared. This is equal to the square root of a squared plus 2ab plus b squared minus a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Now, if we combine like terms, uh, we actually have 4ab. Okay, now, remember that ZY is equal to WX. Okay, let's plug in the expressions. ZY is, again, Square root of 4ab or uh, 2 square root of ab. So we have 2 square root of ab equals 2 square root of bc plus 2 square root of ac.
Okay, now, of course, we can expand by squaring both sides, but I will not go to that path because I think it would just uh, make the expression or the equation complicated. Okay, um, now, let's go back to the question on top. So, what, what do we want? We want 1 over the square root of C equals 1 over the square root of A plus 1 over the square root of B. Is it possible to find, is, or is there an expression that we can use to divide both sides of this equation to arrive at 1 over square root of C? So let's look at the last equation here. So we want, or we want to get rid of square root of AB, or 2 times the square root of AB. So what should we divide to this? This should be divided by uh, 2 square root of ABC so that we will cancel 2 square root of AB and retain 1 over the square root of C. Let's try. So, divide both sides by 2 the square root of ABC. 2 square root of ABC. Then 2 square root of ABC. Now, we can cancel some factors cancel 2 we also have a b okay here the same b c here we have 2 and then a c right so now we have 1 over the square root of c equals 1 over the square root of a plus 1 over the square root of b and we have arrived at the desired equation.